A quick little note I wanted to add here regarding where did I have it? I had it here. There we go. Regarding these. So this is courtesy of Hypebeast, and I'm wondering why I don't see these often outside and the in real life more. So this is regarding um, a shoe brand called Clint's, which is based out of Manchester here in the UK. And they're just debuting here, basically, courtesy of Hypebeast, a new model. It says here, Clint honors Toronto with the TRL 2.0 Raptors. And they've got this new um, colorway um, or model, I guess, that they're kind of um, showcasing here on Hypebeast. And I've seen this shoe, you know, featured in all over Instagram here and there. They have a pretty good um, handle in terms of marketing and pushing the shoe on there. Because it seems like every time I open the app, I'm basically seeing another picture of somebody wearing Clint's in a cool way. But I'm curious as to why this shoe never took off in the uk like in a real way i don't really see many people wearing them i'm sure there are many influencers out there who got a pair or many cooler kids who i don't see because i'm not cool i'm washed so maybe i don't see them in that regard but day to day i'm surprised given a silhouette when it comes to a chunky soul when it comes to this really nice aggressive outsole when it comes to the nice colorways and just the overall silhouette i'm just surprised that more people haven't jumped on these as a kind of alternative to the usual kind of sneakers everyone's wearing because they kind of tick all the usual boxes but they're a little bit different so if you're fed up of wearing air force ones you're fed up of wearing jordans you're fed up of wearing solomon's vans whatever it is that everyone's wearing out there i feel like these clints are a little bit more interesting than what you would see out there maybe but i was just thinking myself if i had to theorize as to why these maybe haven't taken off the way they probably should have a part of me thinks there's probably a little bit too much going on in the paneling on the upper there's probably too much going on there in terms of the amount of different panels there. i'm just going to count here the amount of different pieces that make up the whole entire upper um just off the top of my head you're thinking one two three on the toe box alone maybe four including the mesh kind of underlay body thing you got five here with the eye with the eyelets um with the eyelets ace i stay whatever that thing is called you've got maybe f f six here seven with the heel tab and maybe a little bit more maybe eight here with this 3m that runs around it there's a lot of different panels too much probably so it probably looks a little bit too busy so that might be a reason why people are not really jumping on them um and then maybe it would be a little bit hard to wear for some people with certain outfits because of how wide and bulbous they look i see someone in the chat mention they look like a knockoff of osiris yes pick up crash so there may, there may be a reason too because i think those osiris d3s as great as i think as they are as a shoe to the regular person on the street they're kind of hard to wear with your regular items right um especially if you're going to be out there wearing you know skinny jeans and a flipping you know cardigan or something where maybe osiris d3s and shit isn't going to work out so maybe this clints are the same thing but this is courtesy of hypebeast read the article quickly it says manchester based label clints is continuing to experiment with um footwear design and shows no signs of innovation Holt, the brand constantly delivered fresh products that differ from the current uk offerings um including the stepper the stomper boot and more the clint's trl 2.0 is the brand's most notable pair and takes inspiration from the classic trek footwear clint's recently un unveiled france and japan inspired designs and highlights canada for its latest drop so this is meant to be a canadian colorway it's meant to be a Canadian colorway, but this also reminds me of a colorway of a Nike Air Stab that I had in the past um, from Foot Patrol. Big Up Foot Patrol, the legendary London sneaker store. And they had this shoe that they made. And the colorway of this stab looks very f similar to the colorway that Clint's did on their shoe. Am I, am, I, am I bugging? I don't think I am. So it's weird that they would say this is a Canada colorway when it just looks like a copy and a rip of what flipping foot patrol did with their shoe back in the day maybe that's maybe foot patrol based theirs on the canada colorway also but it looks very similar that clint's colorway on this and this foot patrol um air stab that came out i think if i'm not mistaken yeah 2005 it's a long time ago the shoe came out um but yeah that i purchased back in the day so it looks a little bit familiar to me like that foot patrol shoe but anyway let's go back to the article um it says the chunky so dub the 2.0 raptors the chunky model is embraced by the basketball team's original purple uniform hues um okay it's, it's okay it's, it's an, by the toronto raptors let's see toronto raptors jerseys toronto 
Raptors jersey. I'm actually curious to see this purple. I didn't know it was purple. Okay, cool. Maybe that is inspired by it. Maybe it does come from this. I don't remember it being that color. I'm not really a big basketball fan, so I wouldn't know too tough. But it does it does kind of look similar, doesn't it? To that colorway. So maybe maybe I'm wrong in that regard. That Clint shoe does look quite similar to this. Okay, fair play. Fair play to Clinks. To Clint, sorry. And um, it continues. A uh, purple suede I sent hit the toe box. Whatever, you know the deal. Um the Raptors above. Um are going to be coming out and you need to enter the raffle obviously to go and purchase them so although clint's are offering a different models and different silhouettes and shape from the traditional brands they're still selling shoes the same way which is a bit of a disappointment to be honest you know raffling you know raffles technically when i was growing up a raffle meant you would pay a nominal fee for a raffle ticket but then that raffle ticket could then grant you the opportunity or the chance to win something that's way worth more than the price of the ticket that you paid. So you just one pound for raffle tickets or 10 P whatever it would be. You'd buy rolls of them. And then maybe you might end up with a washing machine. You might end up with an iron with a bag of popcorn, whatever. It'll be way more, more worth than what you, you know, you know, you purchase a ticket for nowadays raffles. So you're sometimes paying to enter them. And you're also entering a raffle for a chance to pay for something, which is weird. So the whole term raffle, Never really sat well with me, especially when it relates to sneakers and shit. It's weird, especially when you think about most of the brands out there are essentially, you know, creating artificial scarcity in order to make their flipping shoes more limited than what they actually are. They could just make way more, but they don't. They choose not to. It's annoying. But hey, what can we do?